Ladies and gentlemen, I am the Prince Kratos, and welcome to... Resident Evil 2. <laughs> it's time. A bizarre incident occurred in the outskirts of an American suburb called Raccoon City. It was later revealed that the terrible disaster had been caused by the T-Virus, a mutagenic toxin created by the international enterprise Umbrella Incorporated for use in bioweapon experiments. The Raccoon City Police Department's Special Stars Unit immediately began investigation of the affair. But the Umbrella Corporation's experiments were far from finished. Empty highways. Okay, relax, dude. What a creepy area, even before the zombie disaster. Ugh. Oh, hi there. What have we got here? Shit. Ooh. Zombos. That guy's a maniac. Why'd he bite me? We don't know where this is going. Man, what a mess! It's untouched, Leon. What could have done this? I wonder. Keen what senses, man. What are these things? Uh, look at this All guy. Right. That's far enough. Don't move. <laughs> it's switching. What's up with that guy? That was a clean hit. Oh shit. Oh, how you doing? Wait, don't shoot Get down. <gasps> Doc you can't stay out here. Head to the police station. It'll be a lot safer. Is what you say. Oh, where are they going? There. Random police car. Okay. What's going on? I arrived in town, and the whole place went Great. insane. The radio's out. You're a cop, right? Yeah. Yeah, you think? First day on the job. Great, huh? Name's Leon Kennedy. What gave nice him away? You. Mine's Claire. Claire Redfield. I came to find my brother, Chris. I saved him. At least I did that much. Hey, could you open the glove box? Sure. There's a gun inside. Better take it with you. Oh, shit! Just got a gun, shoot at it! Shoot him! Oh, Jesus. What? <laughs> uh, okay, that works too, I guess. You okay? Still in one piece. <laughs> Not for long. He turned! Claire! 
Head to the station. I'll meet you there. Okay. So no partner. Oh. That does for an epic start. What do you think? They were parted by unescapable destiny. This is just the beginning of their worst nightmare. Whoa! Oh, hello, Zambos! Woo! Yeah, yeah, now. You get out of here. See, I'm better at this. <laughs> Is there something here? No, no, no. Get in there. Oof. That's the first Resident Evil I ever played. I played a whole five minutes and then I gave up. I, I was too young. But I didn't even know what I didn't even know what to call these things back then. Freeze! Who are you? What are you doing here? Hold your fire! I'm a human! Uh, he figures that much to talk to you. You convinced him. Sorry Lost. about that. Sorry. I didn't know you were a human. I just I thought talked you were to one you. of them. Yeah. If you What's see one of them, on you tell them town? to stop. Hold on. Freeze. I don't have a clue. <laughs> By the time I noticed something was wrong, the entire city was infested with zombies. Oh, zombies. What does your voice, Adam West? It's, the case is broken, there's nothing useful inside. Okay, then. Oh, bullets. Gimme, give gimme, give handgun bullets. The knife, the knife! Whoa, shit balls! Uh oh. You shouldn't stand there. But oh well, what can you do? Eh, eh. Yeah, gotta kill them. See, you'll see why soon enough. I know a trick or two about this game. I want to say uh, that I'll be better at this, but I can't be sure. He stopped. Has stopped breathing. No shit, Sherlock. His guts are are all over the floor. Yeah, I got the shotgun. That's why you gotta kill these. To grab the shotgun. Grab these bullets. See, unlike Resident Evil 1, this gives you plenty of bullets. To have fun with the zombies, there's nothing useful here. It's a freaking shotguns and rifle store. Uh, but no, there's nothing more. Just a couple of handgun bullets. Yep, get out of here. More useless trinkets. Trinkets. I'll get out of here. I'll get out of here. I'll get out of your way. Get out of your shop. I'll go on my own way. Anything back here? Nothing. Yeah, yeah there's a trick if you don't loot anything until you get to the... Oh, hi there. Until you get to the police station, you get some a costume, a, a weapon. I don't, I don't remember. But you get something. But I'm not gonna do that because it's hard to do. I don't much care for it. Yeah, I remember some secrets and some stuff in this game. I don't remember everything, so don't expect me to know everything. Don't expect me to get the best ending either. But I think you're used to that. <laughs> uh, oh, he's waking up. Like, oh shit, I was about to say look at these epic moves and then I got bit like a doofus Get out of here yeah, You got plenty of bullets to fight them you can avoid them more easily because the space is open now Can we get uh, some bullets in the trash cans? Nope, okay, let's go up the stairs It's much more fast-paced much more action you'll see that if you've seen Resident Evil 4, 5, and 6, the one that people complain, mostly 5 and 6 people complain about, about them being more action than horror, you'll see why it goes there. Even these games are like this, but they have some aspects of horror. 
Come on, you doofus. It's a different time. Now, people weren't used to that. How did you come here? I thought there weren't two here. Yeah, auto aim is there. So. Chances are I'm gonna hit one of them if I aim at it. Hi there, buddy. Oh, shit. I don't think you'd get me. And as you can see when you're uh, injured as well. Here we go. Look at the poor little guy, he was eating. Hi there. I don't, I don't remember if there's anything of this guy, but I'm not gonna stay here to find out. <laughs> Screw you, Zambos. Maybe a couple of bullets, I don't know. There's some bullets over there. See bullets everywhere. She dead. See now you can you can oh how what's that no Well never mind I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna show you now Get out of here Yeah cuz it's what's the uh, it's circle okay Thought it was start button but it's not Uh There is no sign of life What's in the what's in the briefcase Nothing Okay Jesus uh, the uh, the combat knife is better now. The 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 combat knife. Ah, shit! Get out of here. More of you. Oh shit! Too many. Can I go? Ah! <laughs> oh, get in there! Get in there! Freaking policeman! We're getting close. When they drop down, when you shoot them. You can then use the freaking knife. I'll try to show you. One. Two. Hey! There are more! Hey! Come on, come on. Do it, do it, do it. They're both dead? No, he's not. Yeah, there it is! See? Now you can use it. And save some bullets. Every bullet counts. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this on me, but... Uh, there's some herbs there. That one, not, not here. There, here? See, the fact that there's herbs there was just a, a legend back in my day. We were talking about it's cool. Like, oh, have you said, sir? There's a nerve there. You can heal yourself. Oh my god! And the thing where it's down here, when you, if you don't loot anything on your way, something will be done here. Don't remember exactly what's happening. Get out of here, Zambos! Uh, going round and round and back into the police station. Raccoon City Police Department. Welcome to your new recruit, Leon S. Canada. Canada. Well, nothing here. These doors are locked. Electronically locked. So. Uh, let's see what this has to offer. What do you have? An old fountain. Something is written here. To obtain the key to open your heart. I'll wait for the unicorn. The beautiful beast. That's how. Uh, apparently, that's how uh, police stations work. Don't question it. If you go to your local police station, you'll find the freaking uh, statue there. You, I'll use the computer. Can I play solitaire? Door lock service. All side doors. The doors can be unlocked by a card key. Thanks for the info, bro. We can enter here. The other door is locked as well. Uh, hey, buddy -o. Oh, man. Jeez. Who, who are you? Oh, you must be the new guy. The new Leon. guy. Sorry, but 
It looks like your party has been canceled. <laughs> what happened? You're so funny. About two months ago, there was this incident involving zombies. Are you? Are in you a mansion going to explain the whole in the story? Skirts of this city. Chris and the other stars members discovered that Umbrella was behind everything. No way. They risked their lives to reveal the truth, but no one believed them. Not long after that, all this started to happen. Uh, uh, hang in there. Don't worry. Yeah, about finish the me. story, please. <laughs> Just rescue the survivors in the other rooms. Here, take this key card. You should be able to unlock the doors in the hall with this. Now go. But just go. Huh? <gasps> Don't do it, man. We're Fine. all friends here. But I'm coming back for you. Just hold on. Yeah, we'll be coming back, all right. Even locked the door, little prick. Okay, let's use the freaking key card. Yes, I'll use the computer. All side doors locked. The doors can be unlocked by a card key. Use the blue card key? Yes. Checking up ID card. All side doors released. Okay. Uh, you. So let's explore this area first. I don't remember which way to go first, so I'm going this way. We'll see how it goes. Oh, a chest to chest. What do you have for me, chest? Nothing? Uh, let's leave the ribbons there. I'll keep the knife for now. I'll keep the knife. Maybe we can uh, save a couple of bullets more. Nothing out of the ordinary. The desk is locked. Yeah, no Jill here. There's no master of unlocking here. Ah! It's too dark to see anything outside. Well, I saw that. So that cute little body of yours, you sexy beast. Oh. Do you hear that? Nothing unusual here. Uh. Oh, there's a police officer without a head. An open and close switch for the shutter. Can't be activated since the core is gap. So, yeah, police officer missing a head. That means equip your shotgun. <laughs> the head is missing. It seems to have been twisted off. And there's blood there. Very nice. A spade is at some hole. Yeah, of course. You have keys with different icons and uh, emblems. A cutscene. Oh! The infamous liquor makes an appearance. Oh boy. Uh. Hi there, how you doing? Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of. Oh shit! Get out of here. He's dead? Oh shit. We're still fine, right? Yeah. That's why you need the shotgun. If you don't get the shotgun, you gotta run. Things are not gonna go well for you. Take another green herb. Of course I'll take it. See, they're just pouring you the items. Just filling you up. That wasn't the case in Resident Evil 1. This is much more action-packed because you have the bullets to fight most of the zombies you see. And if you go with uh, the knife trick, woo. What do we have here? It's fine to know where I'm going. Operation report. Operation report, September 26th. The raccoon police deputy was unexpectedly attacked by zombies. Many have been injured, even more were killed. During the attack, our communications equipment was destroyed and we no longer have contact with the outside. 
we have decided to carry out an operation with the intent of rescuing any, spo any possible survivors, as well as to prevent this disaster from spreading beyond Raccoon City. The details of the operation are as follows. Security of armaments and ammunition. Chief Irons has voiced concern regarding the, the issue of terrorism due to a series of recent unresolved incidents. On the very day before the zombies attack, he made all he made the decision to reallocate all weapons to scattered intervals throughout the building as a temporary measure to prevent their possible seizure. Unfortunately, this decision has made it extremely difficult for us to locate all ammunition caches. It has become our top priority to recover these scattered munitions to unlock the weapon storage. As stated earlier, it will be extremely difficult to secure all the ammunition. However, a considerable supply still remains in the underground weapon storage. Unfortunately, the person in charge of the card key used to access the weapon storage is missing and we have been unable to locate the key. One of the breakers went down during the battle and the electronic locks are not functioning in certain areas. It has become a top priority to restore power in the power room and secure those locks. Recorder David Ford. Ah, oh, there's more. Operation report, September 27th. I think September 28th is uh, where Resident Evil 3 starts, so you realize how close they are. 1 p.m. The West Barricade has been broken throughout another exchange ensued. We sheltered the injured in the confiscation room on the first floor temporarily. Twelve more people were injured in the battle, recorded David Ford. Additional report. Three additional people were killed following the sudden appearance of an as-of-yet unknown creature. This creature is identified by missing patches of skin and razor-like claws, probably the liquor. However, its most distinguished characteristic is its lance-like tongue. Yeah, it's the liquor. Capable of piercing a human torso in an instant. Their numbers as well as their location remains unknown. We have tentatively named the creature the liquor and are currently in the process of developing countermeasures to deal with this new threat. Yeah. yeah that went perfectly as we all figured out for the headless police officer. Uh, so many papers, so much paperwork. Empty soda cans and junk and nothing else. Uh, grab a suitor, if you will. That'll help you. Uh, oh, we have this here. It's a fireplace. An oil painting hangs above it. The title is A Sacrifice to the Hellfire. Little, the little lady, you're gonna sacrifice her to the hellfire? What kind of weirdos are you? Oh, bullets. Already 57... Uh, we didn't have 57 bullets in Resident Evil 1. Only by the end, where I was using only the shotgun. And we had to spam these to freaking naked zombies. Use this. I remember the tricks. I remember this one. Oh, we burned the girl. What did we get? It's a jewel. Grab it. Will you take the red jewel? Of course I will. You grab the red jewel, you grab the bullets. We're hunky dory at the moment. Hmm. Did I forget something? I'll be back later. Ah, this is the way I came. Boom, 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 boom. The broken windows barricaded with wood, wood planks. Woo! Awesome scenery. Oh, shit! Ah, it's locked. Diamond zips under the keyhole. Get out of here, get out of here. Oh, shit, you got me. Ah. Don't have time to use the knife now. Oh. Shit. She launched herself at me. Well, that's a one hit KO. Did you die? I was sure. Oh, I'm caution. Well, I can use an herb, right? I always feel better when I'm fine. Yeah. Okay. He seems rather dead. Yeah, gotta change to the handgun again. Well, this guy's gonna get it. One, two, three, four. Oh! What the hell? Why are you doing this? I gotta keep my distance. Okay, everybody. Oh, two more herbs. We're herbing. There's a safe room, right? Oh, 25 minutes. Okay, we have time. We'll explore a bit more. Let's get in there first. Uh, 
I remember this place perfectly because... Oh, bullets. Because uh, it, uh, we go there in Resident Evil 3 as well. And some of the areas of the uh, police station that we don't go, I don't remember that well. So you'll see, you'll see. Uh, I don't remember what I'm using this, so I'll keep it. Let's see, what else can... Oh, there's a thing there. Oh, another. Operation Report 2. Oh, here we go. Operation report, September 28th, early morning, 2.30 a.m. Zombies overrun the operation room and another battle broke out. We lost four more people, including David. We're down to four people, including myself. We failed to secure the weapons cache and hope for our survival continues to diminish. We won't last much longer. We agreed upon a plan to escape through the sewer. There is a patch leading from the, pres the, from the present underground to the sewage disposal plant. We should be able to access the sewers through there. The only drawback is that there is no guarantee the sewage disposal plant is free of any possible dangers. We know our chances in the sewers are slim, but anything is better than simply waiting here to die. In order to buy more time, we locked the only door leading to the underground, which is located in the eastern office. We left the key behind in the western office, since it's unlikely that any of those creatures have the intelligence to find it and unlock the door. How did you lock the door and leave the key behind? Ah? Uh, ah? Uh? How did you do that? Witchcraft! I pray that this operation report will, he will be helpful to whomever may find it. Elliot Edward. Well then. We shall solve the mystery of the key. Do I have to, uh, to, to look at the map again to see what's west and what's east? I can develop a film here. Yeah, we'll get one later. Let me check. There's a map. That's north. <laughs> so, okay. Let's go search the place a bit more. Uh, there's something. Should be something on here. Maybe an ink ribbon? Yeah, of course. There is. Most of the times there is ink ribbon next to. Uh, anything else? An old typewriter. No. I will not save it yet. Put it back there. See, now you can combine them easily, so I'm gonna keep my storage. Uh, in a good condition. Okay, here we go. Shall we go upstairs? Yeah, okay, we can't go the other way, so let's go upstairs. Let's see what do we get. What do you have for me, game? We have two minutes or something. Uh, I think there's zombies here. No? Yeah, the, the knob turns, but the door won't budge. It seems to be sealed from the other side. Because in this game... Let's see. Something is written on the mountain. The god of sun and the god of moon. Their gaze upon me is the only thing that, that can release red soul. Not only the freaking uh, police station has riddles and puzzles on it. They have the solutions <laughs> as well. Uh, push it, Leon. Yeah, you won't get away from that. Not a Resident Evil thing. Uh, yeah, I don't know if you if you don't like this, how fast it's going, because I know most of the things. It won't go that fast for the whole game. I don't remember everything. I remember if a few things from, especially from the beginning, because that's the the thing I played the most. I'm not gonna be that uh, uh, that good later on. I won't remember shit. I'm gonna fail out of the time. Uh, well, talking about uh, this, uh, this game had two discs. One was Leon's scenario, and the other was Claire's scenario. And uh, fun, uh, fun thing about this is, uh, if you started with Claire's disc, you play as Claire, but you do the same things uh, Leon does now. If you finish the game with Leon, and then load the game and play with Claire, you'll play uh, with Claire on the other side of the car. Another scenario, a different story. It's pretty awesome because you have first Leon and then Claire, or you can do first Claire then Leon. The game changes in so many ways that it's pretty awesome. It, back then, that uh, freaking replay value was uh, one of the top characteristics you needed in a game. This was really awesome. Because they... You didn't buy one game to play for a couple of hours as you do nowadays. 
Then you bought a game, you needed to play the shit out of it. That's how your rankings and such had a thing. Now, they try to do that with achievements, but they don't work. Nobody cares. Even people who care, who care for them, they're so freaking uh, unbelievable, the things you have to do, or, or or sheer luck that you need. And it's it's becoming boring. Oh! Another shotgun! Yeah, that's the place you get the shotgun if you haven't get the first one. Uh, the various devices must be where gathered information. This is, I think this is in Resident Evil 3 that... Uh, uh, is doing some several files from past cases, nothing useful here. Oh, there's something there. First aid spray, I can't carry it. And I don't have not. Ah, I don't have anything to, to throw away. So yeah, I'd better go back down. And... Uh, empty my inventory. Okay. Zombies are gone. Yeah, if you kill them zombies, they're gone. Just like Resident Evil 1. I think even the naked ones in the end are, are living when you hit, when you kill them. Oh, what's with the music? Did zombies suddenly appear? No. I remember zombies here. Is that from Resident Evil 3? That's... I, I'm always confusing that. I, I'm, I was sure it was from Resident Evil 2. Maybe it changes later on. I don't know. Because, yeah, if the memos are on September 28th, where Jill's uh, memos start, it's around the same time. It's probably a couple other hours later. What happens in Resident Evil 3 from Resident Evil 2? It's pretty weird. And I was talking about Claire's scenarios. And I don't know if I'm gonna do that. Uh, leave the shotgun altogether. We have enough. I don't know if I'm gonna finish with Leon and try Claire. Maybe I'm, if I'm gonna finish with Leon, I'll see if I can uh, have our long episodes on Tuesdays and play some Last of Us and then Resident Evil 3. Or I'm gonna play Resident Evil 3 and if you guys like it, we can go come back later and do the do Claire scenario. So I'm up for anything, really. Uh, I wish I could stream so we can uh, we could do challenges right? like Resident Evil 1, maybe try to finish it with a better ending. I can't do that uh, with an episode each week, but that would be fun to do with company. So hopefully in the future I'll be able to stream and we can do stuff like that. As I love I love playing those classic games. Can't wait to try more. And I'm thinking of Silent Hill 2, because Silent Hill 1 was the, oof, the number one scary game I've played. I remember that I was playing it, uh... Oh, stars! There's Barry, Jill, even Wesker, with the friggin' sunglasses. <laughs> Wesker's so funny. There isn't anything useful on this shelf. It's trust. Someone must have searched the desk. That's the leader's desk. And what's here? It appears nor probably a member of the NRA. Appears to be a replica of a gun. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, we got it. A replica of a gun. Anything else here? Nothing. This is the stars, so you can see Jill's desk, Barry's desk, Chris's diary. August eighth. I talked to the chief today once again, but he refused to listen to me. I know for certain that Umbrella contacted T virus research in that mansion. Anyone infected turns into a zombie. But the entire mansion went up in that explosion that didn't happen, but anyway. Along with incriminating evidence, since Umbrella employs so many people in town, no one's willing to talk about that incident. It looks like I'm running out of options. August 17th. We've been receiving a lot of local reports about strange monsters appearing at random throughout the city. This must be the work of Umbrella. August 20th, 24th, with the help of Jill and Barry. See, Barry's alive, told ya. I finally obtained information vital to this case. Umbrella has begun research on the new G-Virus, a variation of the original T-Virus. Haven't they done enough damage already? We talked it over and have decided to fly to the main Umbrella HQ in Europe. I won't tell my sister about this trip because doing so could put her in danger. Please forgive me, Claire. So, we can tell her. Oh, what's this? This is the unicorn that we can use down. Uh, the... Hi there! Leon. Claire. It's good to see you're still among the living. It 
Looks like we're not going to find your brother here after all. He didn't want to tell her, respect his wishes, you damn fool. There's no reason for us to stay any longer than necessary. Let's split up, look for any survivors, and get out of here. Right. One last thing. Here's a radio. Take it. That way we can keep in touch if anything happens. We didn't give her anything. Well, this is a radio. You know what I mean. I grab it. Desk is disorganized and untidy. It probably reflects the owner's personality. <laughs> hey, hey, don't take shots on Chris. You son of a bitch. He's way better than you. That's Jill, a picture of a young man. There's a good chance it's her boyfriend. <laughs> a dagger through my heart. Ah, how does he look? Is he, is he better than me? He can't be better than me. Uh, Jill had a boyfriend. Well, he may be dead now and zombie, so... I can wear in. Okay, wait, there's uh, nothing else here, right? So... This is searching! Talk to Claire, you doofus. I can't believe what is happening to this city. Claire! I can't believe what is happening to this city. You have failed this city. Okay, let's get out of here. Well, ooh, 36 minutes, I gotta go save. Okay, still no more zombies. Okay, gotta go save. And call it a day. Oh, again the music. Okay, still no zombies here, so who cares? Yeah. Ah. Ah. Boink. Boink. Come on. Okay, we're good. We're good. This was a nice full episode, right? We found Claire, we found this. We can use next time, so. Put this back, get the ribbons. And save the game. An old typer, you can save your progress. Using ribbon, yes, I will. Memory card one, yeah, this. Yeah, played a bit to figure out the controls and such, just to be certain everything can be okay. Ooh, that's it. Hey, I'm gonna leave this here. Woo, can't wait to play this some more. This is, uh, uh, this is uh, so much better. I don't know. I, I don't know. Better is not the right word. This is so much fun. Okay, that's it. I can't wait to play some more of this. For now, thank you all so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, as you were. So loud.